So I suppose the question is, do I flip it or do I stack it? Let's talk about it. YouTube vertical stacker here, and I haven't really put forth many videos lately, at least as it relates to stacking precious metals, gold, or silver. However, uh, I did go on vacation to the Oregon coast for about a week with the family, had a great time over there, enjoyed 68 to 75 degrees every day with hardly any breeze at all. So I guess you could say I had a fantastic time. Now I'm back in Idaho where it's 95 to 105 degrees every day, uh, dying in the heat. But while I was gone, I received a bunch of stuff in the mail. So I just wanted to take some time to go through it and then let you know what my plans are uh, with these things. Some of these are for my stack and some of these are to flip. Now you can probably tell just you know by the relative amounts of the different coins or rounds that I have here that uh, some of these are clearly to flip and some are clearly uh, to stack. But uh, let's take a look at it and I'll go through it. The first one I think is this 2020 Krugerrand. This is actually the first one I have and this is going to be part of my stack. Now when I say part of my stack, I mean my deep stack or my collection. I have a stack which is rather liquid gold and silver that I can move around pretty much at any time. But my deep stack or my collection are coins or rounds that have some sort of value that I attach to them in addition to the intrinsic value of the metal. And usually I will collect one of each coin in a series or just one of each coin or round that I just happen to like for whatever reason. And so this Krugerrand is the first I have from 2020 and I will be adding that to my collection uh, not to my stack or to flip. This next coin I really, really like. It is uh, from, it looks like it's it's issued for Rwanda, and it's the denomination is 50-somethings. I'm not sure 50 what, whatever Rwanda uses, but it's the Mayflower with a little cannon privy here and a nautical compass, which I really, really like. But the detail on this coin is just really nice. I really like this coin. I think it's very well struck. I think it's very, very well made. And this is also going into my collection. The next one is the Mythosaur. This is from the Mandalorian television series. And this I purchased from AppMax. Of course, most of these I've purchased from AppMax, as you can tell by the packaging. Uh, this is a coin that has been produced in a relatively large volume. Uh, I just went to Atmex today and put in like a thousand to see if I could purchase some, and in fact, I could. Uh, the price right now is about $34.53 each. You can get that down to $32.53 if you buy in larger quantities. That's the way Atmex works. You get a, a slight discount with volume. But it's a it's a it's a fairly plain design, but it's certainly of course that's gonna happen. But it's certainly unique in that uh, once you see this, if you are a Star Wars fan at all, you know what it is. So there's been some discussion that they could have done something more or they could have done a better design. But I think in this particular instance, on this particular coin, less is more. Uh, I think we, we know what this stands for when we see it. We know what it is when we see it. So this is uh, for the Isle of Nui, and it's the Mandalorian Mythosaur coin. I have 10 of these that I purchased. Now, I may end up flipping some of these. I got these at a pretty good price. I think, well, let me look. I think I got them at about $27. Take a look here real quick. And so, yeah, all right, I'll, I'll be careful here so I don't show my name. So, yeah, $27.55 a piece. I don't know why I tore that stupid thing up, but it's the Mythosaur. $27.55 a piece. So, I may end up flipping 
some of those. We'll see, you know, how the price goes in the near future. Now, this is probably, other than the Mayflower, the favorite coin that I've purchased in the recent future or the recent past. This is really a nice design. This is the Southern, beneath the Southern Sky BU, Australia one ounce silver coin. Really a nice design. I love that continent, the way they have it on there, and the stars with the striated globe. Uh, just a really, really tight, nice design. What do you folks think about that? I really like that. So this is also going into my collection, not into my stack. Uh, this was filler. Uh, I don't know why I'd purchase this, to be honest with you. I have some of these already. But the 2020 Boba Fett, I think, unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably seen this before from the New Zealand Mint, also issued for the Isle of Niue. Uh, really uh, nice design. I have this in silver, and of course, I have this in gold as well. I'll you know put a card up to that video up here, but uh, really like the Boba Fett coins, all things, you know, Mandalorian, so to speak. So those are the individual coins that I've purchased lately. And I'll just, let's see here. I'll show you the price I paid for, for these. Looks like $26, $27, $24, $29, and $28 respectively for the different coins that you see here and, and i was okay with that because again these are going to be part of my collection not for my stack now my understanding is that in order to get free shipping from atmex you have to get 299 dollars so i'll need more fillers in the future if i do happen to order from them but truthfully I don't order very much from the online bullion dealers. In fact, <laughs> this last week while I was gone, these shipments that came in were the most I've ever ordered from any online bullion dealers. But I did so to probably try to seize up on an opportunity, and that opportunity would be with this coin right here. This is the Zeus coin. Really a nice coin from Tuvalu. And... This came from LPM Group, which is a Hong Kong precious metals dealer. But look at the detail of this particular coin. Pretty nice. Pretty nice coin with Zeus, uh, with the lightning bolt and the hawk or eagle or whatever bird that is up there. I guess I need to research that. But this is really a nice coin. I think there have been other coins, but look at the... Look at the detail in the musculature in the abdominal area on this coin and the pectoral muscles. Uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice detail. And again, the proofing on this is really, the strike is just really, really nice. We're all familiar with that. That face gets on a lot of coins. So these I purchased at roughly $40 a piece. And I've seen these selling upwards of $50 a piece. There were only, I think 13,500 of these minted. And if I go over here, be careful not to, to show any private information, but you'll see that the silver BU coins are sold out with a mintage of 13,500. There are still some of the antique with a mintage of 1500 but the, the silver BU ones had a mintage of 13,500 and those have been completely sold out. Sorry about the hand there in the picture. So anyway, uh, these I got a roll of 20. I plan to flip 19 of them and just keep one for my collection. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to do so, but I did the Valcambis recently, and those uh, turned out really, really well on the flip. So I'll be flipping these Zeus coins as well. Anyway, I hope everyone is doing well. It, like I said, it's been a while since I've put out a video showcasing any silver or precious metals. So here you go, Vertical Stacker. Until next time.